What up, guys? It is XGen Frames here, and I have Big Chan here beside me, and I'm gonna show you another tutorial on. This was actually requested by a uh, guy on my friends list, Saki something. I forget what the hell just came up here. Something just like came up on my screen. No idea what the hell this is. What the hell is this? Oh my god. What the hell is going on? Okay. We're back normal. Holy shit. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. So I already made a new composition and imported my clip and cropped it down. So I'm just going to drag it on here. And as I tell you in every tutorial, drag out the clip. So all the black edges from the HD PVR are out of the clip. So then it doesn't look like complete shit. So... Uh, so basically the tutorial is going to be like having like that color color correction a lot of people do it with like four and uh, four colors but I'm gonna show you two just for the sake of time and you guys will after you know how to do two you'll obviously know how to do four so what you're basically gonna do is just go to layer at the top new oh shit big fail right there solid and then you just click here and then whatever color you want so I'm gonna do for you, you Americans out there, actually, yeah, you Americans. I was gonna do Canadian colors. I'm gonna do red and blue. So, okay. So as you can see, that just goes there. New. Go to layer. New. Solid. And then click again and do whatever other color I'm doing blue, because red and blue look good together. And then, yep. So then you can just crop it down. And some people, you can, after you know how, this is just the basic idea for you guys. After you know how to do this, you can do it like, maybe like an effect, like after you shoot, it like flashes up or something, or like the scope. I don't care what the hell you do with it, that's your decision. I'm just telling you how to do the basic effect. So, then just click on either one, don't click on both, just click on like the top one, or whatever in the timeline. And then go to your pen tool, your masking tool. And then, since we're doing half, if you're doing quarter, obviously you want to do like, if you're doing four, obviously you want to do a quarter of the clip. But just do like, mask off, about, about here, control Z, about like, just a little over half, because you want it to sort of overlap. And there we go. And then just go to the, click the down arrow over here. And then go to mask, click mask, mask one again, and then go to feather. And I usually do it around 94. Actually, what am I saying? Because I don't, I've ne I really don't do this effect, but just do it like however you like it. I just really depends. So we'll, I'll do, a, I'll do like 115. How about that? And then go to transform, opacity, bring it down to, depends, I 41 or 40 I was using, just to like, because I was just like seeing what, because I've never done this effect before, I was just, okay I'll do this because I know how to do it, it's just I've never done it. Um, then for the red, you want to mask it off again. So sort of use your uh, guideline of this because you can see where it sort of overlaps. Just go around and just make it like somewhere in the middle there. And then make sure you're going around the edges and not right there. So when it masks, it's not like uh, it's not coming off the edge of the feathering. You just want it to be the feathering to be visible in the middle. So it just doesn't look like it's popping out. So then you go click the down arrow, masks, same thing basically. Feather. Oh no, that's that's a pasty. Feather. 115 you can do it different but it just looks more smoother and cleaner when you do uh, the exact same one so 15 and then click off that opacity down to 40 and yeah so as you can see that looks really clean right there it actually kind of looks nice um, I like the 2 one better than the 4 because I just did the four before this just to try it out and if you don't want like the middle color overlapping you can basically just move the feathering in so then 
it doesn't have that color if you get what I mean so as you can see the purple is slowly just going away because I'm moving the mask in and this is with your your air your normal select tool key right and then go here and as you can see we have like a nice little two-tone color correction here and you can even move the opacity how you like it so sometimes it looks good when you scope in and shit I don't know but um it's just a nice little effect here let's go click on both hold shift so it goes both so this is just further adjustment that you can do if you want to feather it more just do this with both so let's see like you can bring it down so it's just subtle and bring it up but that looks like trash I like I kinda like this just subtle little yeah I li I like that. That's actually pretty nice. I don't know. Yeah, so I like that. So as you can see, is we made a really quick color correction, and I I like it when it's scoped in because the red on one side, and you can even like turn it around. But that that'll be another tutorial where you can just like use the rotation. So then when it's scoped in, you can just like it's moving around. But you all obviously have to scale it up so it doesn't look like that that looks like shit but uh yeah so that kind of looks cool if you do like something like that but um yeah guys so that was the tutorial uh hope you liked it leave a like and yeah if you have any friends that want to watch tutorials just let them know about me and peace guys and yeah